Ah, Saturday. The best day of the week. The first day of the weekend. A sunny day. Oh, the night yesterday. A good day. Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends. I don't even know if it's welcome or not, but god dang it. One Piece 972. I am Odin and I was born to boil. <laughs> what a chapter. Honestly, I was completely wrong, of course. Um, he was not killed by beheading, as I was expecting. He didn't even leave the pot, actually. He died in there. Which, if I really think about it, uh, we already knew, because... I mean, we already kind of knew. We already kind of assumed that, um, that that would happen. But Jesus. <clears throat> this chapter, man. It, it, it starts off... I don't want to say pretty slow. We pick up. We pick up right after Shinobu's speech from last week. And I gotta say, the the only weapon she tried to stop her took them long enough. <laughs> I mean, they allowed her to do the entire speech, and then no, you know what? That's enough. There's no more. There's no more talking to you. No more truth being thrown around. So yeah. Kind of okay. It doesn't make sense if they really wanted to stop her. I mean, yeah. I guess they wanted her to to tell the, the story just so to give some false hope to the people, because let's be honest, none, no one expected Odin to survive, but alas, he did. So yeah, there's some banter. There's some banter in. Uh, in between Shinobu and uh, Fukurokujo. I really hope that um, that Shinobu gets to fight Fukurokuju. Either her or Raizo. But I uh, I wanted her to I want her to do it. Because she she really she really goes all out and says, we'll survive all this and we'll strike you down. So yeah, that, there's a bit of banter between these two. And I really hope that she can be the one to to defeat him. If we think about it, there's a lot, I mean a lot, of fights that need to happen in Wano. Like, if we, if we really think about it, about the armies on one side and the armies on another, like the big, the, the top players, I mean, I mean the top players, like the Scabbards on one side, the, the Yoni Wabanchu on the other side, not necessarily meaning that the scavengers will have to fight the Oni Wabanshu, but you know what I mean. Then we have the Calamities, and we have like uh, Luffy, Kid, and Zoro, and Law maybe, we still don't know what Law's doing. So, there's a lot of deep players on this, so okay. Orochi just starts shoot, or not Orochi, but Orochi's men just starts shooting everyone, and it's just like, I don't care. They already know. I don't care if they know. Just, just shoot them down. Odin keeps on going, and uh, I want to retract something that I believe I said last week. And I don't know if I said it on video, but I commented with my girlfriend something that I didn't like. On I still don't like it, but I understand it now. It was the fact that last chapter we only had the passage of like four to five minutes. I didn't really enjoy that back then, and I still think it it could have worked in other ways. Like some some more time could have passed in the last chapter, but I understand it with this chapter because after Shinobu's words, word gets thrown around in Wano. We see we see Yasuye receiving a letter as well, and the people spreading the word. Oh, you know, so Odin was actually trying to help us. Took them long enough to figure that out, Jesus Christ. It just shows how, how gullible the people of not just Wano, but I mean everywhere really, if we think about it. 
and Elden just keeps keeps hanging on to the to the board with the scabbards. <clears throat> And people start cheering him on. And the scabbards are like, Oh, now you care. But Odin is just like, Thank you so much for your words. I will persevere. I'm Odin. And it's just so funny. Odin is just... Oh man, what a character. I cannot, I cannot wait for us to see this flashback in the anime. It looks, it looks unreal if we think about it. How, how close... I mean, we're not that close, but we are closer uh, to starting this flashback in uh, in the anime. Like, I expect the flashback to roll around this year. Like, I, I haven't seen last week's episode yet, but uh, yeah, I'm expect. I know it was sort of filler-ish episode. I'm expecting the flashback to start rolling around July. I mean, stretching it out because we know the anime is going to stretch it out. So I'm I'm expecting the the flashback to roll around July or something, but we will see. That's not neither near nor there. So people start cheering. Odin just goes on about how he'd like to open this country and this this is the point. Like this was a very, very significant bit. One that has been discussed before in the community and that I sort of agree with. So, Kinemon starts speaking with, um, with Odin about what he learned while he was at sea. And Odin says that the responsibles for closing the Wano, for closing Wano, were the Kozuki clan. And it was and the reason for that was to protect Wano from a great external power. That great external power we can guess what it is. It's the world government. So it makes no there's no other possibility other than the world government. Because Wano has the knowledge of the poneglyphs, they have the knowledge of the language, how to manufacture them. So I think we can all agree that the great external power is the world government. The problem is the next, the next um, uh, section. I don't. Uh, okay, the next part. Wano, and I'm and I'm gonna quote here. Wano, no, the entire world awaits a figure, and when that figure appears after an eight hundred year span, this country must be prepared to welcome and work with them. Okay. This is serious. Because... I guess we can all... realize and guess who this... figure is. It's Joy Boy. I mean... There can't be... any other... It can't be any anyone else like he it is joy boy the problem is is joy boy still alive or is joy boy somehow reincarnated and yes you know who i'm gonna say is joy boy somehow reincarnated in luffy those are the two hypotheses i have in mind Honestly, of the two, I prefer the fact that Joy Boy is alive somewhere. Somehow, somewhere, Joy Boy is still alive. And a reason for that could be the Eternal Youth Surgery by the Ope Ope no Mi. We all know that Oda doesn't throw anything at random. Things may not have an immediate payoff, but they will have in the future. Now, many people believe that the payoff for the Eternal Youth Surgery is going to be Law sacrificing himself for Luffy. While I do believe that that makes sense, I do not believe that that will happen. For one, we don't know how the Eternal Youth Surgery works. Like, he's the person rendered immortal. Uh, immortal by, by means that he can't be killed period 
or does it make the person immortal by means of aging? But if his head was still cut off or he suffered a fatal injury, would he still die? We don't know. There's still a lot of debate. We don't know. Oda hasn't come out and said anything. So I myself believe that, and the clues in the name, Eternal Youth means that whoever is subjected to the Eternal Youth surgery receives a, a free pass in terms of age. But should the person be fatally injured, I believe that he could still be killed by physical means. I mean, there. Um, so I would say that he could be impervious to just the passage of time. Uh, but he would still need to eat, drink, stay sufficiently healthy, and be mindful not to take any serious injuries. So, because I want to believe that if. One of these two hypotheses is to happen. I want to believe that is the fact that Joy Boy is still alive. Because if we think about the possibility of Luffy being the reincarnation of Joy Boy, that doesn't play well with the One Piece in general. Like, all this talk of predestiny, being predestinated as something, and, I mean, sure, there's, there's this more philosophical dogs of the inherited will but that's the thing it's not the same person it's an idea that is being tossed around we could say there's a third possibility and that the possibility is someone that the figure that he learned about in Laugh Tale is that the figure is someone who carries the ideal but they interpreted it as an actual figure someone from 800 years ago. The, the ideal could be the thing that traveled the 800 years, from Joy Boy to X Boy to Y Boy to A Boy and all the way to Roger, and then from Roger to Semi Changs and from Changs to Luffy. So, any of these two, not the fact that Luffy is a reincarnation of Joy Boy. I've seen that idea thrown around a lot of times and I honestly do not want that to be the case. But let's move along. Uh, the Scabbards try to cheer Odin up and I'm sorry. The Scabbards try to cheer Odin up and they reassure him that they will fulfill his dream. Um... Then Jiro even starts saying, ah, then we should join Lord Odin in... I'm guessing he was saying they should join him in the pot. But then Raizo just shuts him up and says, your dream is our dream. And Odin is like, well said. I don't know what to make of this. Especially the Denjiro, the Denjiro sentence. Then we should join Lord Odin in... Ah, pretty suspicious, Mr. Denjiro. So you wanted to jump in the pot, did you? Okay, I'm just... I'm saying like this, oh no, you're the traitor, Denjiro, but no. Um, I want to believe that he just wanted to jump in out of out of pure respect. Rise of, on the other hand, is just very fast too. But then again, it can just be... The idea of the traitor is corroding our minds. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the traitor is like some random guy we have no affection towards and this was just an instrument planted by Oda so that we would keep suspicious of who it is Oda is just trolling with us I can feel it, I can almost taste it because the more and more we read sure there's a lot of of clues to that point out Kanjuro, that point out Raizo, there were some that even pointed out Kiku. Ah, after this chapter, after the 30 minutes roll by, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 5, 10 seconds, 3 seconds, 1 second, Odin survives. And then, ah, uh, just Nekomamushi just starts. And I believe that this is the start of their of their um, of their misunderstanding because Nekomamushi just starts taunting 
Orochi and Kaido and, and their men. And Inuarashi is just like, do not do that. Just, it'll make things worse. And indeed, men with guns just surround the pot and start shooting the people when they when they start to protest. Orochi decided that he would change the that sentence. Of course he did. And and Odin just goes like, "Do it for me. Open one of those borders." <laughs> he just tosses the freaking board. All of them fly off, and as soon as they land. They start Naruto running out of there. They, or I would guess Samurai running. They start running. Shinobu runs away. Kinemon um, breaks the chains. And just, they keep going, reminiscing about Odin. How they met him. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Kinemon and Denjiro. Um, Kiku. Kanjiro, Raizo, Ashura Doji, Kawamatsu, Inu, and Neku. All of them together. And Kaido just starts, oh, you know, since you're already dead, you know, I'll kind of put you out of your misery, so why not? You'll all die. And Odin is like, do not underestimate my samurai. Ah! <laughs> this man... <laughs> This man, ah, oh. and so all of them manage to escape, and they all have a final collective. I don't know, maybe this memory is from Odin, but a collective memory of all of them: Odin, Denjiro, Inuarashi, Nekamamushi, Kawamatsu, Kiku, Isho, Raizo. And surprisingly, in this picture, Kanjiro is the is the only one that is covered by a speech a speech bubble. Curious, curious. Um, and then, yeah. Um, a surprising fact that I missed on the first time I read: Kaido says, "I'm sorry about what happened with the old hag. I had her killed." So, Kaido was not happy about the way Igurashi, Igurashi, sorry, uh, the way Igurashi uh, interfered in the battle. That is curious. That is very curious indeed. Uh, so, yeah, there's the explanation for how the Mani Mani no Mi's are in the world again, <laughs> because the old hag was killed. Oh, God. And... <sighs> Odin's last words... How upright of you, build your strength while you can, for I am a story to accompany your drinks. I am Odin, and I was born... I would quote Bon Jovi, but he was shot in the head, not through the heart. But, if I can paraphrase, shot through the head! And there goes my... there goes my video. <laughs> right before being uploaded. And yes, and Odin gets shot in the head with his last pose. And the people just inspired and complete their master's sentence to boil. And as his body sinks in the pot with a smile on his face. And the Biwas play their bang bang song. And so ended one legend, to be carried on by the players of the next stage. News of Odin's death reached Toki. We learn that he left her one last letter. Um, and this is a very interesting letter. I will read it, hopefully I don't get in trouble for this. Uh, Toki, I have reached my limit. If I fail to defeat him, there will be others. There will be no others who can stop Kaido for a long time. Over 20 years ahead of us, there will likely be a massive war, terribly enough to split the seas themselves. In, an, in other words, in another 20 years, the primary figures of this great war will muscle their way into the new world. They are the ones who can strike down Kaido. A long winter will settle over Wano. 
I want to I want you to use your your power, Toki. If I should die and Toki just rips the letter. We do not know how the letter ended. But this is a massive, massive, massive thing. Twenty years ago, Odin already knew that something big would happen. Just how much? Just how much is Here's the thing, destiny and all that, the um, things being pre predetermined, was never really addressed in One Piece, at least to my knowledge. If you do remember some instances of that, please do let me know. But this is big. Like, in Laugh Tale, they found out that something would happen in the future. Like, we can say, okay, so, yeah, it was a vague premonition and things just... No, this is too specific to be vague. Like, they predicted everything. The, the primary figures of the Great War are in the New World. The Marines, their headquarters is in the New World. Um, the Yonkos are all in the New World, of course. The worst generation supernovas, they're all in the New World. The Straw Hat Pirates, the biggest players of the of this great war um who else the revolutionary army is now stationed in in coming kamabaka kingdom which i believe is in the new world i'm not sure so everything just keeps piling on and more and more of those players are in Wano. I mean, we have the Straw Hats in Wano, we have the Hard Pirates in Wano, we have what's left of the Kid Pirates in Wano. I'm not sure if that's just Kid and Killer, but I'm, I'm, I don't believe that is the case. Um, we have two Yonkos, Kaido and Big Mom, uh, all of Kaido's Beast Pirates crew and some of Big Mom's Pirate crew. Um, I will not be surprised if CP0 manage to get their feet in Wano. I will not be surprised. Although I think the Marines will not interfere, the CP0 is another thing. We saw CP0 members in Wano already, so... This is very, very big, like... And yeah, we just see some more flashback between Toki and, and Odin. She visited him while he was arrested, and surprisingly enough, he was able to keep this, his swords while on jail. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just found that funny because he's in jail and he just goes like Gizur Enma and Hameno Abakiri. So, yeah, it's very sad because Odin's like, well, aren't you sad? This is my death sentence. Like, and she's like, oh, you, who said you were going to die? And you're like, ah, that is my wife. And he died. And then he died. <sighs> I'd be a laughing stock if anyone saw me crying. We are not your weakness. Look ahead, Odin, to 20 years in the future. The story hurtles towards the present day. Does that mean that next chapter will go back to the present day? Well... I, for one, would enjoy it very much, because let's be honest, this flashback is going on for a very long time already, and I think we could save the, the rest for later, because we understood the whole gist of Odin. Odin ended with this chapter, so now I think that what could happen next chapter, and this is my opinion, is that we see the events of Curie Castle, the, the burning down and the sending to the future, like, at the beginning, like, very, very fast, you know, just, just a recap, so, you know, they reached, they reached the castle, uh, Inuarashi and Ekamamushi were, and maybe, maybe we don't even see that, maybe we just see from, from Toki's perspective, we see the castle starting to burn, we see the, the scabbards arrive, and we see her speaking to them. I don't know why I'm why I'm doing this, but okay. <laughs> we see we see her speaking with the scabbards that are going to the future, and bam, she sends them to the future, and that's it. 
And then the narrator goes like, and so the fated, the fated five were sent towards into the future. And now we will see, bang bang, and we see the Biwa players. And then we'll see how this all is playing out now. Um, Tokage Harbor, was it? Yeah, I think Tokage Harbor, present day. And we see the, the shore empty. But we could see in the distance the little boat where they are, uh, where the scabbards are, uh, plus Shinobu and Mamonosuke. That would be really cool. Okay, March the 1st will be the next chapter, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we are back to a Sunday release. That, that was actually pretty surprising. I don't know why this week they decided to, to release it on Friday, but I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy for it, so I don't know. Do Japanese celebrate carnival? How do you translate carnival in English? I... Says the guy who's studying translation and doesn't know how. It's car carnival. Carnival. Okay, yeah. Do they celebrate carnival in, um, in Japan? I don't know. Maybe they do. Uh, here in Portugal is, is a big thing. Like, pff, people are nuts over carnival. Uh, but yeah. This was it. Uh, I hope I managed to stay a little bit below the 30 minutes mark. I am, I am trying to do that. Um, this... This chapter was bananas, man. This chapter was bananas. This flashback has been... Honestly, I want to say this has been the greatest flashback so far. Like, with, with everything we saw. Like, everything... From from an from a younger white beard to Roger to just the notion that they reached Laughtail. This flashback was the closest thing we got to Laughtail. Just just so you know. Just so you know this that was the closest thing we got to Laughtail. And pff, one O Country is just it's it's been a hell of a ride. Like on everything. Like we got to know so many things. New Devil Fruit powers that are just amazing. Zo and Devil Devil Fruits are some of my favorites. I would say they are my second favorite type. First is Logia, then Zoan and then Paramecia. Uh, just some Paramecia are above some individual logias, but in terms of general fruits, if I was given the choice, I would prefer to eat a logia rather than a rather than a paramecia, just in general. Uh, and Wano has just been mental, 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 mental. I'm loving this saga. It took us a long while to get to Wano, but uh, here we are. Like. How many chapters ago that is, and just... I don't know, is... I think Wano is close to being to being one year old. Like... Wano arc. And here I go to the wiki again. <laughs> and here I'm getting closer and closer to... Okay, we're getting close to the... To the two years mark. It started on chapter 909. <laughs> so we're 63? Yeah, 63 chapters in. Okay. Yeah, this is easily gonna surpass Dress Rosa. It has to. In chapter number wise, it has to surpass Dress Rosa. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Man, chapter 909 was released on July July the 2nd, 2018. That's getting close to 2 years. Just so you just so you realize the cover story back then was the cover story of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. Volume 39. And it was the it was the chapter where Zoro um, was being convicted by being the the murderer, by being by being Kamazo the Slayer. Uh, 
<laughs> my god, two years. Oh god, nearly two years of this. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like this was this chapter was bananas, like I loved it. And I hope you have as well. Please, if you have, do let me know in the comment section down below. Give me your opinions on this chapter and my ideas on it. Please do really let me know. I really appreciate all your feedback. So I will see you guys next week. And remember, if it's Odin, it's got to boil. Bye bye.